We got something a little different right now. I got a steering wheel. There's my real steering wheel. Ahoy! I need to steer this truck with the steering wheel. It's the long haul. We're trucking. We're trucking with a real truck wheel. Oh, I apparently bumped into the car next to me there. Didn't expect this to go flawlessly, but didn't have money on crash in three seconds. I had money on that. I'm gonna be honest. I had money on crashing very fast. It's kind of confusing when you have the muscle memory of driving like a real car and then you're, you have to use like the camera, the in-game camera to look around instead of just looking over your shoulder. And it takes away a lot of your like intuitive sense of where things are. I will say playing with, playing with real pedals does feel very good. Tonight I feel like sound clip of bowling ball hitting bowling pins repeatedly. Yeah, that's kind of a mood. I am the achiest plushie. The plushie with the most aches. World record. Get Guinness World Records to give you that award eight years in a row and then say you have eight world records. <laughs> My mother would be so proud. I don't know if she would. <laughs> You're doing a bit. Is it is it a Tommy Tellerico bit? Is that what we're doing? It, it reminded me of Tommy Tellerico, but I didn't want to make any assumptions. He said my mother's very proud every time his world records came up. Good for him. I'm glad that his mother is proud of him. Do you think she even is proud of him or is she just indifferent and he exaggerated that too? <laughs> I hope that she is proud and that she doesn't know that. You know, she probably deserves the best. She might have raised Tommy Tallarico, but like, that's not her fault. Probably. That's probably not her fault. Why is that guy on his break? What is that guy doing? People are driving wild after COVID, man. That's actually something I've been noticing in real life a lot. Like, since the pandemic quote unquote ended, it never ended, but you know, people have been just driving a lot worse in general. He's a local and he knows there's a speed trap around here. He's trying to avoid the cops, maybe. But he was going the speed limit. The speed limit was 65 and he slowed down to like 20. Maybe there was a very small sign that said speed limit 20 that you couldn't even see and the cops were right next to it. <laughs> I, I, I did miss that one. If, if that's there, then I did miss it. So I'm doing less good with staying in my lane with the steering wheel also. Again, it's just it's just a bit harder for me. I don't know why. I have all the muscle memory of driving car. Reminding you of your driving good look away, you'll get anxiety. I'm sorry. I'm doing better now. Now that I'm on the freeway and I just have to follow a lane, I'm doing a better job. Bad joke? Okay. It's okay. It's okay to make a bad joke. This is the long haul. We're nothing but bad jokes. It doesn't help that I'm also texting and driving. I consider talking to chat while I'm driving a truck to be texting and driving. That face when the haul is long. Where are we headed right now? Our destination is El Paso. We're hauling a big trailer full of cars. It's like a, it's like an actual car trailer. Not one of those specially modified ones that like puts an extra car on top of the cabin and stuff. Those are terrifying. Like those are, those are not trucks that any company makes. The, the companies that do hauling of cars specifically modify them for that. And that is horrifying. I would not want a car directly above my head. That sounds scary. <laughs> See those in its instant Final Destination 2 intro. That's a logging truck though, isn't it, in Final Destination 2? I would argue a car flying backwards at you is scarier than a log. I think it depends on the size of the log. Cars are not shaped to go straight through your windshield and out the back, that's a fair point. Oh, oh god, my in-game character is starting to yawn now. Good thing I decided to stop here instead of waiting for the next rest stop. <laughs> Automatic yawn functionality games are so advanced. I know, right? Ooh, a piece of your joculatrix. Joculatrix. A piece of your dominatrix outfit. <laughs> Sorry, I can't make that joke. Uh, yeah, I know what joculatrix means. I just don't know how to pronounce it. I was saying in my head, like, well, I know how dominatrix is pronounced, and that, that's got the same letters at the end. Is that anything? So that's kind of where my brain was going there. Oops, oops, oops. I was looking at my phone. I was looking at my phone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Distracted driver, I know. All of these signs are saying trucks keep right, but then this guy is going so slow. It's a 70 mile an hour, it's an 80 mile an hour zone for people who aren't in trucks. Where, why is this person not stepping on the gas a little? This is when you become a terrorist for this man alone. All right, I mean, if you insist. Bye, idiot. <laughs> So much for the realism. <laughs> that felt really good though, actually. <laughs> I was wondering where Twisted Metal was on Steam. I'm so glad you found it. Finally found the relevant distracted driving image. Placed it in the server. Should I pause the game and pull that up? Keep playing and pull it up. Do they have an in-game cell phone you can use while you're driving? I wish. They absolutely should. I could get on my real life phone. I am now attempting to do that. Play Subway Surfers in the corner. What is the deal with that? I don't understand that meme. 
Here, I'll put on this nice Brian David Gilbert video while I'm while I'm driving the truck, and I'll watch that on my phone while we're driving. Reach was one of the few places that John considered safe from the Covenant. His home would not fall. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with this joke now. <laughs> this is actually genuinely very difficult. <laughs> sludge content. Okay, I have heard that term. Not the good sludge. Yeah. We have to differentiate between the good sludge and the bad sludge. Spent 11 minutes in one of the worst raid pickup groups I've ever had. Wish I'd gotten to see you murder a guy instead. You totally didn't convince me to commit the murder in question. I don't think you would be culpable for that murder. I think it wouldn't hold up in court if they tried to if they tried to pin that murder on you at all. I just said terrorism, terrorize the guy a little bit, turn on your super brights, honk till he's deaf. <laughs> yeah, no, I just straight killed him. If I had done any of those things, you could have been culpable for that. But what I did was I murdered him. Or you get a bunch of uh, silly bumper stickers, but you don't have a car. I've been pulling for Cable 2 to do some bumper sticker merch. It would be it would be very good to get like my other car is Cable 2. Actually something that someone suggested was a uh, Shiv is my co-pilot with a picture of the plushy me and I think that would be funny. Would love a long haul sticker for your truck. That would be cool. Do you ever just sit in your truck? Yeah. I don't have a truck but like I do just sit in my car. Bike is a good place to put uh to put bumper stickers. If you have like a little like plate cover or something like that or plate holder. If you put bald Shiv in the passenger seat Shiv can be your co-pilot real. That's so true. I forgot about Bald Shiv until today when I was scrolling through the pictures of my phone and found the Bald Shiv pictures. Oh my gosh. Bald Shiv is so good. Wish you could put more dumb things in your truck in this game. I have a mod that lets you put a lot of dumb things in it, so I've got a lot of like, you know, pride flags and a teddy bear and, you know, I've got some stuff. When you move they'll get hair and no longer bald. Wow. Bald Shiv's so cool. Unbald Shiv, also pretty cool. And that will become the real Shiv. The day that that uh, plushie gets hair, my soul will leave the human body I inhabit and will just become that plushie. Uh, and that's it. Because I'll just be in a plushie body, the long haul will have to be taken over by my good friend and headmate Clarity, who I'm sure would do just fine. She doesn't have a ridiculous amount of manic energy at all. You could buy an 18 wheeler for the plush and rig a camera in there. That'd be great. I didn't actually say this because I was too focused on making jokes about the plushie thing. I hope you have a good move. <laughs> sounds like a stressful situation to be in. Moving for me is always stressful. I don't I don't know if it's stressful for you. For me, moving is invariably stressful. Moving in with your boyfriend. Oh, good. Cool. Wonderful. I'm sorry that you have to put all your plushies in a bag and vacuum seal them. That sounds really stressful for the plushies. Actually, someone should do that to me. I think that would fix me. Getting getting vacuum sealed in a bag for a couple days would probably solve all of my problems. <laughs> You'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> if Bald Shiv is going in a bag, if you're going to vacuum seal it, please, please take a picture. Sorry, Dream Dunk? Turn your ass flat, Stanley. Why does my chat always get so cursed? A girl can't even talk about wanting to get vacuum sealed in a bag without... <laughs> without people getting weird about it. Mostly remember Fushigi Ball. Fushigi Balls are just kind of a bad contact juggling ball, right? Like, they tried to essentially copyright uh, a thing that already existed by giving it a cool name and selling a ball on TV. Oh. They were like, haha, look, you can do contact juggling, but we'll never call it contact juggling. This is Fushigi now. It got covered in fingerprints so fast. Yeah, like the problem with Fushigi Balls, I think, is that they were made of like resin or something, weren't they? So they weren't like breakable in the way that like a contact juggling ball is because those are generally glass. It means that they pick up grease really fast and that that grease is inc incredibly hard to get off. Friend Zoe has a puzzle cube that's magnetic and it's good to stim with. That sounds cool. I kind of want to get a speed cube at some point just to stim with. I don't think I'm like ever going to get back into solving uh, Rubik's cubes. I used to actually be into that in elementary school. I got really into it for a while so I could probably remember a little bit of how to do it. I don't know. I just think be cool. My hungry ass could not own a Rubik's Cube. You know, we're about halfway through this delivery. Like, we made it from... I think we were... Were we in on the east side of Washington? Is that where we were? Anyway, we, we went really far away. Sorry, sorry, my microphone was turned off. What was that? You, I, I thought the Minecraft parody, like, lasted, like, a really long time. Bye. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I straight up killed that guy. I straight up killed that guy. Yeah, I just want to see how they like fly Wait, off the road again. <laughs> okay. I'm genuinely shocked that Twitch let me do that title. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> My back hurts a lot. I need to wind down a little bit. I love you all. You're all wonderful. Thank you so much for showing up. Have a good night.